Hi everyone, my name is Arvind Olano. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but I'm finally ready to share my dining room makeover. We've been working on our... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, Sage is gonna join us, everybody. We have been working on our dining room since January. <laughs> and one of the first things we did was actually rip out the super ugly gray laminate floors here in this main living room. And we painted over the ugly bluish, greenish white that we had. And I actually want to say thank you so much to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video because you guys know if we're painting the house, it's gonna be Benjamin Moore. There's about 7,500 independently owned Benjamin Moore retailers. So when you buy a can of Benjamin Moore paint, you know that you are supporting a local business. And when you buy from a Benjamin Moore retailer, you are dealing with a paint expert, so you know you need advice, they're gonna give you the best possible tips. We actually needed to paint this entire living area, and I don't trust myself or Andrew to do the whole thing, so we hired some professional painters. The color that we chose for this space is actually Benjamin Moore's Simply White. It's classic. You can't go wrong, it's bright and creamy. And the painters that we hired said that it went on so smoothly, so evenly, unlike some of the brands that they've used before. So if you are feeling inspired to paint your space, go ahead and check out Benjamin Moore's eStore, get your own paint samples, and find a store near you. <laughs> Hi Sage. Okay, here we are in the dining area with my new dining table. I love this piece so much. It's from All Modern. It has the most beautiful sculptural legs. You guys know I love furniture that have this big presence. And this pendant is also from All Modern. And right now I'm just feeling like the space, um, all the pieces that I have, even my chairs, which I will show you here in a little bit, everything is just feeling a bit too modern for my liking. So I'm thinking we should go to an antique mall shop around, find a few vintage pieces, just to mix it up a bit. I'm even on the hunt for some art pieces and some wall sculptures to put in this area, just to give the space a bit of personality. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll put my dining room together in just a little bit. We made it to the antique mall. It has been so long since I've been to this antique mall. It's actually one of my favorite places near the house and I'm just gonna keep an open mind, see what I can find. I'm not sure if they have any vendor, new vendors, but let me swing you around because this booth over here is my favorite. They always have the coolest random things and I just want like some fun pieces. Like look at that guy, he's sweet, hello. What else, ooh, tiger. Okay, let's take a look. Um, maybe we should look for like kitchen, dinner, plate kind of things. They have lots of like vintage stoneware, which is a nice, nice little touch. Let's take a look. I'm trying to find some cool wall hanging pieces. <laughs> I've seen this guy every single time I've been in here. And I feel like today is the day to pick him up. I love the wood tone. I think it's gonna match the table and it's kind of weird and funky. Ooh, I like this one a lot. It's kind of like a nude figurine painting, but what I'm really into is that vintage kind of raffia around the frame. It's only $39. I feel like it's super special, so definitely gonna get that one. Okay, wow, this booth is definitely new. Some more tigers. I'm trying to find some more wall art. I'm lacking in the wall art department. Okay, a little Asian moment. I kind of like that tiger there with a little bit of yellow. Is that weird? Or the horse. I do love an equestrian moment. How much is that? Do we like that? I like that it's square. This mirror moment? <gasps> I'm kind of into that. Let me take it down. It's made of wood. Do we like the detail? I feel like that's so cool. It's $52. 
Hmm, the wood tone is nice too. It's kind of like a gilded, kind of. I like that. Do we like that? Should I get it? We have a bit of theme going on today because look at this other piece that I found. Okay, how lovely is that? Another raffia kind of trim, and I don't know what those things are, but they are fun. $65, super unique, and definitely gonna get that one. This was made in 1975. That is so sick. Yeah, love that. Okay, I feel like I'm finding so many good things today. This one's only $25, and kind of love it. It has a rustic feel to it, but it's just so special. Yeah, definitely gonna get that. It might be cute kind of next to the dining table as an accent piece. I got the chair and the art pieces. They're all in the trunk. I'm honestly not sure if the chair will work for the dining room, but we're gonna try it. I mean, it was $25. It's a little rustic, but I love the wood tone. I love the detail and it might just add a bit more character in that area. So if anything, I can just use it as a little side table um, around the house too. I have a chair obsession. Anyone else? <laughs> I am so glad that I got this chair. I was afraid it might be a little too rustic, but I think that's exactly what I needed in this little area. Something super old. It's kind of wonky, like it leans to the back. I'm probably not gonna sit on this piece, but it's just like, even Andrew was like, oh my gosh, that's a nice chair when he helped me bring it out of the car. So it's just gonna sit like right here. It's gonna add a little bit of personality. Actually, I should probably clean it. <laughs> you can tell there's a lot of dust and a little bit of dirt. So I'm just gonna wipe it down. Next, I'm going to add this mirror that's a bit more modern and I'm gonna put it right here. I feel like the dining area needs like a little bit of reflection. So let's take a look. Okay, that side is in. I do have another mirror that I kind of wanted to try here. It's more organic. It's like made of plaster, but it's in storage right now. So we're just gonna stick with this one. It has kind of like a region, not regency. It has a very modern look to it. And I like this juxtaposition here, I think. <laughs> oh, I do really like that. I did get this art piece and they put the tag right on the actual art. So I'm gonna use a blow dryer to kind of heat this up. I don't wanna damage her because she is beautiful. Okay, it's perfect. No sticky marks. It did not ruin the piece. And oh, I'm so obsessed. So I'm not gonna lie. Andrew and I really wanted to do a feature wall or like a feature moment in this little nook. <laughs> Um, we were thinking like lime wash, dark paint, wallpaper, I don't know, which is why we didn't even smooth this area down because we were gonna do something cool. But for now, we're gonna do a gallery wall. I'm actually just gonna be using some command strips because I'm indecisive. Like, I don't know what it is about me and art and walls. Like, I, I wanna constantly be able to move them around just in case, I don't like them. Command strips are a great way to keep your walls crisp and clean and not a lot of holes. One piece of command strip is really all you need, especially for a small little guy like this. And I like to push it really hard for a few seconds and then just stick it on. Okay, so easy. Oh my gosh, I love it. It just adds so much warmth to the space. So I did get that wall hanging, but I don't know how to hang this because I don't know. Let me just check. Do we like that? I don't know. Should I add this other piece that I found today? We have a theme going on. I obviously love raffia grass cloth. And this is a sand painting, you guys, from the 1970s. The artist gifted it to 
George and Jean. I, I mean, I just, some people might get freaked out by that, but to me, that's what makes this piece so special. Like it's had a life um, and the colors like, wow. The yellows with the reds and the black, it's just perfect. Do I put that there or do I put this here? Hmm, or do I put it here? Let me switch them. Maybe this one here. Oh, I don't know. See, this is why I don't want to hang things with nails. <laughs> I really want to put that sculpture up on the wall, so I think I'm just gonna have to nail it in. Let me just kind of see where I want it to be. I feel like around there is good. We're just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh my gosh, it's in. <laughs> Face is kind of weird, huh? You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna see how the other pieces start to come together. This next piece is by a friend of mine. Her name is Carrie. You know what? The sun is literally going down. We're going to continue this tomorrow when we have a little bit of better light. It's, it's like going in and out and I just not feeling the vibes right now. And I don't know what to do here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna think it over. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best dining chair option. I have this one, which is super nice, super architectural. And I also have this one, which is not as trendy. It's just a classic kind of woven leather chair. I actually really like the details of this. Um, it has a bit of a brass bar here and this was super affordable you guys i got this from i got this from the crate and barrel outlet and i actually got this cabinet too at the crate and barrel outlet anyway i digress although i love this it's sculptural it's beautiful it's a statement i kind of feel like everyone's dining table area has this chair you know what i mean like you kind of see it a lot these days so i think i'm gonna go for i think i'm gonna go for this one which is also very nice. Good morning. It is reveal day today. Oh my God, this chair is a little rocky. <laughs> Probably should have sit on it. Anyway, I played a little bit with the gallery wall yesterday. I think I found a little formula going and I don't wanna buy more things just to make it work right now. I'd rather it be like a living, constantly evolving little situation where I can switch things out but I think I found a little layout that works, so let's go ahead and do that. For a gallery wall, you always want to kind of switch things up, the shapes, the orientation. So I have this frame that I'm just gonna hang this way. Cute. And then next, okay, I did add a few other pieces on this side just to kind of give me an idea. Like, okay, I wanna fill this whole space with art. Next, we're gonna add that vintage sand painting. I found a spot for her, and I think she looks good up here. I like her there. Next, I have this abstract art that has a little bit of red, a little bit of black for some contrast, and that's gonna go right under here. I love this. I like the direction we're going. I like the color palette. I think when I'm sourcing next for, um, oh, actually, I can do this. I have this. This is just a little, round circular rattan mirror that I got from Target. It's a little dirty right now, but I'm thinking to add even more shape and interest, I can just kind of hang it up, hang it up there. But I'm not loving the color of this. I think it's a little too light. So I might stain it and I'm gonna wait to hang this. For now, I think this is fine. It's cute. I'm gonna let it be. And let's decorate the rest of the space. Okay, let's bring this guy over this way. Okay. I will say the only thing about this dining table, the legs make it so only three chairs can fit really nicely in there so that it tucks in perfectly. Andrew and I don't really entertain that much, so the three for us is perfect. And I like the 
warm leather tones, the texture, a bit of brass. And I also like how the legs of the chair can still show off the detail and the legs of the table. So this area here, I'm really thinking of like either curtains or Roman shades. I don't know yet. So for now, okay, for now, I'm gonna put a tree there because, oh, it's heavy. How pretty is that? Just a very wispy tree. I do get tons and tons of questions about this tree. It's a black olive tree, AKA Busida spinosa, something like that. I got this from the tropics of Hollywood. I'll link their Instagram down below. It's a very trendy tree at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. It's like um, all the designers, all the interior designers are using this tree in their projects and it's a very expensive tree. Would I buy it again? Probably not. <laughs> But it is pretty, so I'm trying to keep her alive. Next, I have this Burlwood pedestal that I use all the time and photograph. Ideally, I would love to do like some sort of small cabinet here to house like, you know, cups and mugs and whatever, but I don't have one of those yet. Um, so instead of trying to buy one just to buy one, I'm just gonna use this for now to add a bit of architectural detail, a little bit of interest. You guys know I love displaying things, so we could maybe even display like a really big floral arrangement here too. <laughs> it's time to add the finishing touches and then I'll show you the entire space. Let's add some florals, shall we? My gosh, I love the way the dining room turned out. I actually, last minute, I switched the way the table was going so that you could see the back of the chair and I'm feeling this so much more. I feel like the checkered vase from Amazon really completed it. I even have this little throw blanket, also a checkered pattern. I'm doing a little print on print situation here. Hey boys, are you on shot? I really wanted the dining room to be cozy relaxed, lots of objects and beautiful things to look at and warm at the same time. And also, can we talk about this major tropical floral moment? It just reminds me of growing up in the Philippines. Anyway, that is it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this dining room makeover. Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, your comments. I'd love to read them. And if you have any questions too about anything, Feel free to ask them down below in the description in the description box. Hit that subscribe button before you go. And actually don't go yet. Watch this video next, somewhere up there, and I will see you in that video. Bye everyone.